This is going to be a short video. I'm not even sure how it's going to come out because of the color of the jacket. I'm looking at gear, not boots. But it is from a boot company. This is Thursday Racer jacket in black matte. G'day, welcome to Bootlosophy, and I acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands that I live on, the Wajit people. This is Thursday's racer jacket in matte black in an athletic fit. Now I'm bringing to you gear, not boots, but this is from one of my favorite boot companies, Thursday Boot Company. I do have likes and dislikes, so let's go through them. This is one of Thursday's uh, leather jackets called the racer. Uh, it is leather. This is in their black mat, which is in Newbuck, which I'll talk about uh, in a minute. And sometimes it might look like it isn't leather, but it is definitely leather. Um, this is a, an athletic fit uh, jacket, which again I'll talk about. There are three types of fits that Thursday give you. It's cut quite short. Um, apart from bomber jackets, I do tend to like my jackets a little bit longer, maybe at the top of the thigh. Um, so I, I don't really mind it, but it is a little bit shorter for me. Uh, in terms of cut and so on, it's a very plain jacket. There, there aren't too many patches, uh, pockets and so on. Uh, and it has a central zip up front and, and not much else. So it's a fairly plain jacket. In fact, Thursday have seven or eight different designs to the, uh, of jackets. And I will link uh, a, a, a link to their website jacket collection below. Their seven or eight different designs then have a variety of different leathers, uh, including this one in, in black matte. As you can see, it's, it's a short jacket, it's collarless, it has this sort of fixing at the top of the collar. Um, in athletic fit, it's quite slim on my body. Um, and, and when you zip it up, uh, it's, it fits quite snugly, and I probably covered my microphone. Did you hear me say it was quite snug? <laughs> the single zip at the front is quite plain. They have snap buttons at the cuffs and at the collar. Hand warmer pockets at the waist, they're quite roomy. Uh, there is a phone pocket caught up in the lining that's aligned to the zip, and then a larger pocket inside on the right breast for your wallet or your notebook. Uh, in terms of materials, let's take a look at those materials. The leather is from the rugged and resilient line uh, that they use in their rugged and resilient boots. I think it's actually made from Newbuck. I expect it more of a distressed low sheen look, same as the, in, in their matte boots. It is slightly disappointing to me because sometimes it looks like textile. I don't know, maybe when the patina shows. I'm disappointed because if I buy leather jackets, I want others to know it's a leather jacket. But the feel is soft. It's very pleasant. It's not too thin, but it's not a heavy leather either. Uh, overall, uh, it's light on the shoulder when you're wearing it. It doesn't smell like leather. It's more of a chemically smell, so that also is a little disappointing. The uh, lining in the body of the material is slightly stretchy. I think it's polyester. Uh, the sleeve lining inside is smooth polyester, uh, so your, your uh, uh, sleeves will slip in quite easily. In terms of hardware, zips and snap buttons, they all feel strong and sturdy. And in fact, I do like that this zip is guaranteed for life even though it's not a brand name. The QC looks good. The hardware is definitely sturdy and it's put on well. And all the stitching all around, there's no loose, no loose stitching. Uh, everything is, is straight and, and well put together. In terms of size and comfort, Thursday offer sizes going from small to XXL. Also, they come in three fits. Slim, it's very form-fitting. Athletic, not as snug in the body. And relaxed for uh, bigger chests and middles. <laughs> I ordered medium in athletic fit. Now, I'm 175 centimeters, or that's five foot nine. Uh, my chest is 98 centimeters, or 38 inches. My waist is 86 centimeters, or 34 inches. The medium athletic fit jacket fits really well. But I was initially worried about slimness, mm, potential beer gut. <laughs> I was also initially worried that I couldn't layer, but I've since found that I can. I would say go your normal size, and if in doubt, go up one fit not measurement. Overall, it's comfy and flexible. The shoulders are good, the sleeves are good, and I can definitely wear a jumper underneath this. It's not particularly warm. I'd say this is spring or autumn rather than a winter jacket. 
I have worn it with a t-shirt and bright sunshine, mid 20 centigrade, uh, okay but on the edge. In terms of pairing with boots, what boots might I wear? I am happy to pair with casual boots, I think, uh, and assume uh, that those are mostly jeans. I'd say denim with dark brown boots. Uh, like for example, suede roper boots from Ringer's Weston. Uh, despite the more relaxed fit to the jeans, I think it still works with a slim jacket. Or you get the Amber Harness Iron Rangers fitting with slimmer jeans to match the slim jacket fit. But mostly I think all black is a great look. Black slim jeans and pair them with black suede Chelsea's from RM Williams, for example. If I wanted a more aggressive look, a White's MPs in black chrome XL would fit perfectly uh, with the same pair of jeans. As to value, the cost is US $349. I bought these on sale at $249, and that's one of the cheapest leather jackets you can get. Shipping to Australia was $30 US, again, one of the cheapest uh, postage rates as well. You can get cheaper jackets from Pakistan, but you know, you have to question the quality of those. I am a little bugged though that the new buck version is the same price as full grain leathers. So in summary, good looking jacket. Slimmer fit flatters the not perfect body. Uh, I think it's a nice inter-season jacket. It fits well and is pretty comfy. On the minor side, the new buck looks and smells disappointing to me. But I have to say it is still great value though. I, I, I can't complain overall. So there you go guys. I hope you like this very quick short jacket review. Like and subscribe. Don't forget, click on the buttons down there. Subscribe because I will be uh, going back to Boots, of course, this is Bootlosophy, and I'll bring you more reviews of Boots, including a, quite a lot of long-term reviews because I've had some of my Boots uh, three or four years now, so it's probably time to bring them back to you to see how they've worn. So make sure you click on like and subscribe, and until the next time, you take care out there, and I'll see you again soon.